My name is John Reed, but my friends call me Jack. I was born in Portland, Oregon, on October 20, 1887. I became famous when I went to Mexico in 1913 to cover the revolution there, riding with the legendary Pancho Villa. My experiences with his peasant armies strengthened my own growing socialist convictions. In August of 1917, I went to Russia to cover the Bolshevik uprising. When I returned to the United States, I wrote my most famous book, Ten Days That Shook the World, an eyewitness account of the Russian Revolution. Inspired by what I had experienced in Russia, I took a more active role in American politics. I helped to found the Communist Labor Party of America in 1919. During this time, I published a series of essays in a newspaper called The New York Communist in which I analyzed the history of socialism in the United States and the American political system. These writings were almost lost to history, but they still ring true as my insights into how large capital exerts influence in American politics are as valid today as when I first penned them. Fortunately, History of Books collected these essays and published them in my new book, Why Political Democracy Must Go. With an introduction by distinguished historian A.K. Brakob, my book should be read by anyone with an interest in American politics. After founding the Communist Labor Party, I returned to Russia to obtain recognition of the party from the Comintern. While there, I fell ill from typhus and died on October 17, 1920. I am buried in the Kremlin Wall, one of only three Americans to have been so honored. I hope you will find my new book educational and informative.